Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Vicki and I've missed seeing y'all. I've been under the weather for about three months. So if you've missed my videos, I'm so sorry. Um, if you're first timer watching my videos, I do mainly keto low carb. This is a chocolate blueberry muffin small cake. And I'm using these small Pamper Chef cake pans. And we're gonna go through this. Now we'll post the recipe, so don't worry about writing it down. But I hope you have a good time and you find something interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dry ingredients in first. And I make one little modification because I am doing um, the cocoa in this and that's more dry ingredients so I add a little bit more of the li liquid ingredients but this is also my blueberry muffin recipe so I have a cup and a quarter of alternative flour now mine is a blend of almond flour and sunflower seed flour you can use just straight almond flour and I have two tablespoons of coconut flour I have half a cup of sugar alternative. Uh, this one's Swerve. A teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of salt. It's like a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to turn it on mix for just a second just to get the dry ingredients blended. If you look, it's got the time and it's got the beater that you should be using on our stand mixer. Now it will get a little noisy for a second, but you know, it won't take long. Now I've got a scraping beater on here, so it's scraping the sides. And if you saw, it was running real slow because it doesn't want to just throw the flour everywhere. But I'm going to go ahead and put the liquid ingredients in, which is a cup of, you can use um, whole milk. I used half, half, and half, and half water um, to keep the carbs low. Cocoa, that's four tablespoons of cocoa, one egg. tablespoon of vanilla. And like I said, I have a little bit more, and I'm using whipping cream of liquid to offset the 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 um, cocoa. Now I think this is going to make three pans, but I have four grease just in case. I usually make this half recipe and do two. And I make it in the air fryer a lot of times, but this, this time it's going to be in the oven. And if you see the stand mixer, it has the time that's left and you know what we're doing like i said it does the tells you what beater to use makes it so easy now it's going to pick up speed for just a second and then we'll fold in the blueberries love suggestions so if you leave me a, a comment or if there's something that you would like to see made into a keto recipe that 
you haven't seen the keto version of it, um, low carb, then we will do our best to try to convert that for you. All right. Looks nice and blended. So we're going to pop this. Well, first we're going to fold a cup of blueberries into the mixture. These are pretty big blueberries. I kind of like the medium ones normally. But this was all I could find at the grocery store. So, like I said, use what you can get. You can use frozen. But it tip is, if you use frozen, thaw them out, pat them dry. Okay, here's the batter. And we're just going to cover the bottom good because we don't want this very thick. I do want the, to make this small cake, but it's going to be kind of tall. Okay. I don't want to miss any of that good stuff. So I love our scrapers. Look how clean this bowl is. I think I need to take a little bit out of this one. Okay, it did make three. And I'll pop them in the oven and come back shortly and let you see what it looks like. Hmm, pretty good. All right, be back soon. Okay, so I'm back with three perfect little cake layers. And I have made up some frosting while we were waiting. I made it in our whipped cream maker. This is just a light mocha frosting. And I'm just going to ice the layers and show you what the finished product looks like. Now, our new tools for frosting are going to be fun to play with on this one. Um, we have a new icing spatula, frosting spatula, which makes it very easy and puts the frosting on smooth and level. We'll come back and see what it looks like. So, last bit of frosting is on. We may do a little decorating. Not sure yet. Alright, everything you see me using is Pampered Chef and there's a link on my description. Alright, so Here's the finished small cake, and I have a chocolate whipped topping um, on, on the cake, and then a cream cheese glaze on the top with some blueberries. Now, I will post the recipe for the blueberry muffins and the modifications that I make for the cake, and these are just basic sugar-free frosting recipes. I'll be glad to help you with that as well. If you want to ask me some questions, please leave me a comment. And as always, give someone your beautiful smile today. It makes you feel good inside and you know, you just could make someone's day. Come back to see me often. Bye.